All right, so today I'm going to be starting to work on the harness. Got everything laid out now. Um, here's the ECU plugs. Fuse box over here. Basically, these are where the injectors are going to connect. This is for the transmission. More injectors over here. So, first thing I'm going to do is start by taking all the split loom off. And that should probably take a little bit, but that'll probably be the easiest part. I got the split loom off, everything that I'm going to take off right now. Basically, everything that has multiple strands of wiring in it, I took the split loom off of. If it came to something like this that has just a, a single set of wires going to one plug, I didn't take the loom off of that because if I do need to remove it from the harness, then I can just take the whole thing out. So I'm not going to waste my time trying to take that loom off. And I kept everything on, all of the transmission wiring, because I'm not sure that that's going to change. I don't think that's going to change very much. Same over here. I am saving all of the extra loom pieces. I didn't ruin any of them. I'll save those so I can reuse them, put them back on. And same over here. Basically going down to where it has multiple strands, like this one for example, just goes down to one single plug. Alright, I'll show you how I'm getting these off. Compress these in. I'm just using a press and wrench. Adjustable wrench. And then pop out. Plastic's kind of brittle. That one actually, this one broke, but that one's good. And there's another piece here. And it'll come right off. Have you noticed the green and blue plugs? We do have to take these off. So just for good measure, I'll take a marker and mark these. G for green. And B for not green. I'm going to get these little covers off. There's just a little white plastic tab holding these in. I'm just going to grab the plastic piece, keep outward pressure on it, push it on that tab. Push in on that tab, and then they pop right off. Alright, so next I'm going to be going through the harness now that all the loom is off that I want off. And eliminating all the wiring that I don't need. So, I did print out a pinout from lt1swap.com. guy who designed the site has it all pretty much labeled out. All the yellow are the wires that I'm going to eliminate. All the blue here that I marked are the wires that I'm going to keep to go to all of the external sources. So I do have one page for green, one page for the blue plug, green plug, blue plug. I'm going to be using a multimeter with a continuity buzzer and just a set of alligator clips. So I can go put the wire, put the alligator clip on the pin that I want over here, and then I can chase this back to the plug and make sure that it's actually the wire that I want. So you can hear the buzzer. See so here I have the alligator clip on this wire on the plug, goes through the multimeter and then it buzzes when I have continuity back to the plug. So next I'm going to be flipping this over and it is terminal number 50. So looking at the harness here you can see on the plugs each slot is numbered with a number. You can look at terminal number 50 on the green plug, it says vehicle speed signal. So this will go to an external source. So what I'm going to do now is snip this wire here. And after I snip this wire, I'm going to use some masking tape. Hey 
tape it around the wire. And I'm going to mark it with what it says on here. So that's vehicle speed signal, so I'm going to mark VSS on here. And go in the house and get a new fucking pen because that one doesn't work. But you get the idea. So basically I'm going to go through every one of these blue wires just like that. I'm going to mark it from this plug. I'm going to go through on the plug every single wire on here. Trace it back to the plugs. And either tape it off or eliminate it if I don't need it. Alright, so I'll do this again with one more wire. Take the alligator clip. I'm going to put it on the second pin inside the plug. This one is a brown white wire, brown wire with a white strip. So you can trace the wire all the way back to the plug. And you can find it. And I mean, worst case, you can literally just go through every pin you wanted to, then you'll hit the pin that you want. So, this one here, brown white wire, I have continuity there, so I'm going to look. And this is terminal number 46. So we'll look again at, we'll look again, terminal number 46, that's what it says on the green plug, it says MIL control, so that's your malfunction indication lamp control, so basically your check engine light, that's the wire that sends a signal to your check engine lamp. So now that we have verified that this is the wire that we want, or this is going to go to an external source. We verified it on the pin out. We'll do the same thing. Snip the wire off. Put some masking tape on it. Use our new Sharpie that we got out of the house. And we'll put MIL on there. Malfunction indication lamp. Let's talk about a, an elimination of a wire. So I did the same thing basically with this wire here. Doesn't trace back to any of the ECU plugs. So I ended up following it through the harness and it comes over to this plug here. I'm 90% sure this entire plug is getting cut off, but I can verify here. It goes from this plug to this plug. So I know that I can just cut this wire and now I'll be able to pull this entire wire right out of the harness. So now that I got this wire pulled out of the harness, I just wanted to kind of show you something. So this is actually a blue wire. But if you look where the plug was, it looks like it's green. So it's just dirty and it actually looks like a completely different color wire. But down further, it, it's blue. So just be careful when you're going through and looking at wires. And you might think it's a green wire, but it's a blue wire. And don't snip the wrong one. All right, so I'm almost done working this plug now. Uh, it does say on the LT1 swap site that basically you're going to cut this plug off. You're going to cut this plug off. And you're going to cut all of the wires off except for the pink wires. Because the pink wires are your 12 volt hots that go to different circuits like your injectors and coil packs and stuff like that. So, but like I said before, I just want to verify that before I actually go through and hack them all off. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm going to lift this tab up. And then I'll take this flathead and push the wire in. Then I can pull it straight out the back side. And I'm ready to pull it out of the harness now. So let's show this again. Pull this wire out. 
Here's the pin. Pull this tab out. Push it down. Pull it out the back side. Simple as that. I'm pretty confident I'm just going to be able to plug, uh, cut this one off. But first, I'm going to go through and take all the yellow wires from the list and remove them from the plugs and the harness. Right, I went through the green plug, have all the wires pushed out, and now I'm just going to trace them back to where they go and remove them. As I want to show just how I'm removing the wire, so I'm going to verify over here this is the wire that I want. It does come right to this plug over here. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to pull out. Push the pin through just like we showed before. What I'm doing is just kind of pushing the wire through and tracing it all the way through the harness. Be sure that you don't like catch anything or snag anything. And tangle up the wires a little bit more. Basically now I'm just going to trace the wire back through this way. And be sure that you keep the normal shape of the harness. Now we have this wire almost completely out. Chase it back through. I know this one's going to come all the way to this plug because I checked it. Cut it off. And now that wire's out. So that method takes a little bit longer for each wire, but at least you know that you're verifying it goes to a point that you aren't going to use and it's coming from a position based on the diagram that you're not going to use so you're kind of doing a double verification that you have the right wire and you're cutting the right wire out before you actually do it now this plug is cut verified every wire made sure i don't need it gone now the only one left here is this big fatty big red one I'll run through that and then I have to cut all of the not pink ones off of this and get them out of there. Pull out the harness as you start to cut through the wires to find different plugs that aren't going to be used that have a ground going to them. So if we take this ground and follow it all the way through the harness to right here you'll see that there's a little ground junction here just has a really thick ground and a bunch of little small grounds coming to it when you get to that one you can just take this wire and snip it off from that little ground splice I'm gonna go through and start removing all of the wires from this plug so basically all of the non pink wires I'm gonna start going through first but I'm gonna verify where they go to so these wires here, they're actually red-white. These are going to be the PCM 12-volt constant. So I'm going to put the lead in there because I'm going to verify continuity, of course. So my wiring diagram says it's pin 20 and pin 57. So there's pin 20 and there's pin 57. So I'm just going to verify that those are the right wires that is the PCM 12 volt constant so now that that's verified so now that that's verified I'll snip these off and I'm going to mark these with tape there I mark PCM 12 volt constant so 
Now I'm just going to go through the rest of the, the diagram. Again, we're just using the all the ones that are marked in blue. These are going to go to external sources from the PCM. So I'm just going to keep going through, verify at the ECU plug, and then verify here as I cut them off and label them. All right, so pretty much the ECU side is complete. Um, still need to go through. I got all the wires out, cut out that I don't need, except all of the pink wires. So the pink wires, as I snip them, I'm gonna go through with the multimeter as I cut it off. I also still need to go through some of the other plugs on the other end of the harness. And other than that, that's all I'm gonna do for today. So I'm liking how it's looking so far. This is all the wire that I've taken out already and I'm not, not done yet. So I definitely lightened it up quite a bit. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a comment and uh, watch for part two.